Protect your future. This is the People's National Movement's campaign theme for the December 6th Tobago House of Assembly election. On Sunday, the Shaw Park complex was flooded in red as the party officially launched their campaign. Here's Carissia Douglas in this report. PNM Tobago Council political leader Tracy Davidson Celestin said their candidates are people on the ground and the faces of the future. Describing the PNM as one that has been tried and tested, Mrs. Celestin stressed that once elected, Tobago's burning issues will be addressed. One of our first acts will be the push for autonomy. Yes, and we have been pushing for that for day one. We will do what it takes to ensure that Tobago gets the legislative authority that it deserves. We will push to ensure that there is the foundation for critical change. Chief Secretary Ansel Dennis spoke to persons who have been calling for change. He said there is no need for change in a political party for change to take place. But within this distinguished political organization, we have had change because I'm saying from Orville London to Kelvin Charles, that was change. The fact that you have 15 candidates here representing the People's National Movement, a number of them new faces. And the PNM political leader, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, also urged the Begonians to protect their future, adding that a PNM led central government will give Tobago what it needs. Tobago's future is not to be trifled with. A good relationship between the Tobago House of Assembly and the central government is your best chance in this very difficult period because we can operate in a civilized manner, in a respectful manner, and we share the same vision for Trinidad and for Tobago. Dr. Rowley gave Tobagonians the assurance that one day autonomy will be granted. Carissa Douglas. News. Meanwhile, the Innovative Democratic Alliance has confirmed they will be contesting 12 of the 15 seats in the December 6th Tobago House of Assembly elections. On Monday, the party's leader, Dr. Denise Soyafat Angus, made the announcement on a local morning show. While in January's and previous elections, Dr. Angus contested the Scarborough Calder Hall seat. This time, she chose to contest the Bethel Newgrange seat. She said the IDA carefully selected their candidates. Men and women of good character. And therefore, we took our time in, you know, taking them out in batches, making sure we have all some people who we can present to the people of Tobago. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we present them, that people see themselves in the lineup. You see yourselves in young people who are there in mature persons, in the experienced and uh, different um, church affiliations. Mm -hmm. So we wanted that mix. Dr. Angus said although only 12 candidates were announced thus far, they are having conversations regarding the three other seats.